Hey guys, this is just a quick video before I do my read. My read is going to be up tonight. Tonight is actually Scorpio and Aries. I'm looking to see how much I need to, I'm looking to see how much time is going to put crime in the same one. And if not, I'll do part two. So I am here for other reasons, just to speak to a couple of things. Uh, here, you're going to notice one says Zen Romance Tarot. This is a company or platform that I started here on YouTube about three years ago, a little over three years ago. I started Zen Romance Tarot. Before that, way back in the day, Wacky Mo Gossip and News. So I retweet a bunch of stories. You know, that's what the page is really about. You know, as you grow older, it becomes less about gossip and more about news. However, it's still intertwined, right? So you see two different, two different. So Zen Romance Tarot appears on YouTube for the most part. I do have a Twitter page. You guys are more than welcome to join me there. You are also more than welcome to join me at Wacky Mo on Twitter. It's Wacky Mo, literally. I'm surprised I was able to still catch that. Oh, that late in the game, but yeah, hold on, hold on, guys. Okay. Yeah, so I just wanted to bring that up. So I do have other platforms here. So I've been doing this for a really long time, guys. Just like doing things that, these to me are hobbies. These to me are not nine to five jobs. My goal, as in I have not been given a choice, is to run these as individual entities, right? So what I want to point out is these are hobbies that I have that are here. I gave birth to them on my own. I do all the work on them. Nobody has been contracted out to sign on my behalf. There is no management team that rec represents me. Nobody represents me. Nobody has been given an opportunity. I haven't signed anything for anybody to represent me, take my work. Use my voice. Nobody has been given permission to do that, right? Nobody has been given the permission to take my voice and use it on any platform and do whatever they want, make money off my voice. But it's been done. That's number one. So I want to add something else into here, right? So we're going to take a look at another. So this is these are the things that I'm Mo. I'm Mo. <laughs> I, I'm Mo. I never really said that because, again, these are two separate entities. However, I don't know how this all happened, but maybe folks became interested in who is in Romance Tarot. That's fair. So I began to incorporate my own personality into my show. And that's what you've been seeing over the last three years. It's been me evolving into how I want to shape Zen Romance Tarot. However, we had some skunks come in and decide they didn't like what I was doing. As a matter of fact, we had some skunks come in and say, I don't like the way you're praising. I don't like it. Now, is it the way I'm praising or is it what is coming out of the reads? If you don't like what I tweet, don't read it. It's that simple. If you don't like it, don't tweet, don't read, don't come to my page. I've been very clear about that. I am here for another topic. It's not a topic. It really does fall under the umbrella of what is a company? What is corporate? How do these things intertwine? Let's take a look at that, right? So aside from these two little platforms or now companies or whatever you want to call them, right? I work a nine to five job. So how is it possible that a Zen Romance Tarot and a Wacky Mo Gossip, which are two separate entities, right? Which are so small, taxes haven't been filed. In 2012, I was married. And I was going to start a business. My ex-husband at the time decided he wanted, a night, he wanted a nightclub. And I was just like, well, you know what ended up happening to that? Well, the, the, you know, this whole thing happened. The weather, you know what I mean, right? All that happened. So that wasn't going to happen. Besides that, that whole thing didn't happen, number one. So leading me back to what I'm here for is if I have these two individual things that I created on my own, how is it possible or is it ethical that these two entities carry over into a job that you go to nine to five. Let's take a look at that. Now, how would something like that happen? This is when you get the big dogs in bed. This is when we get the, you know, the after church parties, the extra extracurricular activities or whatever you want to refer to as, I don't know, whatever, after work, Saturday nights when people say presto, whatever it is. The question is how 
did YouTube or even Twitter somehow work its way into a nine to five job? Was it a connection? I do want to tell you guys that this has been an issue, right? And I have countless for three years sent emails over to Google ads, which I pay $500 a month. I've also sent over to the platform. So with two separate entities, I've been writing religiously over and over and over again. The thing about me is I'll sit, I'll let it pile because I feel like when you address something, there's no response. I look for patterns. So the pattern is there haven't been any responses. However, there could have been. Perhaps I didn't get the responses. Why didn't I get the responses? Because there was some kind of mirroring. Somebody, somebody redirected something, right? So in my first email, I actually hired a guy, paid him. He was going to make a commercial. I think I, I premiered the Kurt commercial maybe two or three times. It's like, it becomes timely and I'm like, I need to get these videos out. But, I, you know, whatever. This person never gave me the computer back. Never gave me back the laptop. He left one place and went to another. Next thing I know, I'm all over the internet. Right? And somehow, this has spread, right? From something that I created over to something that, well, wherever... Anybody could work, whether it be a regular job, whether it be a government job, where whatever. It was not supposed to spread over. And if it did, how so? Let's take a look at these. Are these nasty stations or people or whatever? No, that's a tarot channel. What could be so offensive about a tarot channel? Well, some people say, I don't believe in it because the Bible says this and the Bible says that. However, did you read the actual text? That's number one. Number two, angels never look the way you think. Those people that you see that got the gowns on, floating with the pretty hair, perfect lipstick, they look angelic. That's not really what they look like. Those people look like me. Those people look like you. Right? It's like, it's almost like Tarot cards are in direct conflict of the Bible. I understand what you're saying. However, if you read further, it really boils down to what is it for? There are seers there. And I feel like there's been a dismissal of what people believe. A dismissal in, it's like, I'm going to dismiss how you praise because I don't like it. Now, do you not like it? Why? Don't, why? Because when, I, when I'm here, I see the political readers. I see just the regular readers they reverence the Most High or God or the Divine, however you want to, a lot, quite a bit. As a matter of fact, even the ones that get up in the nighttime and they still reference. So don't you dare say, or don't you dare pose your opinion about what you think about tarot cards. And now, what if the, what if we were to Bible you and say, you know what? You tell us about your Bible. We could equally have the same argument, yet we do not attack you. That's what the difference is. That's when this starts to carry over to me religious persecution. It is a, it's a form of praise. It's a form of worship. So because I don't think the way you think, you get mad. But can you say that all these folks are crossing on the TV, getting arrested, handcuffs? I'm sure it has happened. It has happened with all of us, right? Well, you know what I mean. All of us have been down, right? But you have a very judgmental group of people that will go so far as to take two platforms and somehow roll it over into a nine to five job. How is that legal? Now let's take a look at the other piece of it where there were no businesses. There were no businesses, LLCs put in these names. So how did they come about, please? Why is this quiet? Why is nobody saying anything? It is fact. As a matter of fact, I don't say much without it being fact. Well, you know, my nonsense, you know, smiley faces and the crap, so, you know, like the pile of crap, like the pile of crap emoji, emoji, I should use those all the time because I'm just saying, my point is, let's really think about this. When you take certain people and put them into certain scenarios and you recount conversations had, it points you directly to who it is. So why... And how is that legal for a maybe YouTube platform to incorporate itself into a corporate company where one of the um, influencers, if you will, I'm an influencer. Why would this carry over to my job? How did it carry? How? And how come nothing was done about it? 
Where's the noise is what I'm asking. Where is the noise? It's being made, but I believe it's being kept quiet. Reference. I believe it was Sherlock. I'm not going to say the last name because I'm not giving props to piles of crap. Yep, I said it. As I always do, whether it be verbally or in writing. I stand by everything that I do. That's number one. All right, I'm just saying. So I'm going to leave that there. My point is... If you even look at some of the Sherlock stories, you see these things. You see people, you know, I, what I need you to do is uh, do me a favor. I need you to cover this up. I need you to shut this little channel down so it's been on three years. You hear the content all over the world, but the numbers don't add up. Please tell me how that makes sense. Also, when you take into consideration three years worth of questions that have never been answered, how is that professional? How is that the best customer service given? Tell me how I should feel confident using perhaps Google AdSense, which I, because I'm speaking personally, I'm not speaking out against, I'm speaking my experience, all right? And what I'm saying is if you pay a company $500 a month and you expect a 400% ROI, where is it? So what I'm asking publicly for reporters and also tarot readers or whoever else is out there helping me out and supporting me. Let's get this, at least this video, please like it, share it. I want YouTube to know that I kind of need some answers. So I am reaching out to my peers, my people who rock with me. How that happened. Please. And I have written to the CEO who took off. She got a note. And I also wrote about that. Several people, nothing, not one response, which is typical. Do I believe that there are people involved who are here to help? Absolutely, I feel it. As a matter of fact, I will say that this, uh, this feeling that I've had over the last couple of weeks, it was something about last night, something about yesterday, something about yesterday's energy that came out and I was like, oh my goodness, I felt free. I still got some stuff to get off my chest. Let's be real. I do. But I felt free. I don't feel the heaviness that I was feeling. And that tells me that the devil is a little bit scared. That tells me that the devil can't get up out the bed. Listen, I ain't seen the devil in about two days. Where's the devil? Hmm? Hiding in shame, are we? Just asking. So with that. I want to thank you guys again for your support, but YouTube, I would like to know what's going on with those responses for three years. I also would like to know who you have working on the inside. I believe once you get to a certain level at YouTube, you're assigned an account liaison, account representative, somebody who in a sense caters to you because you're a bigger platform. However, even if you don't have a huge platform, you're still asked by many of those who do to do favors. What is a favor? Can you do me a favor and make sure you shut this down? The mama's getting mad. The preachers is getting mad. The story's being told before it happens. So when I ask somebody about this stuff today, they look at me like I'm crazy. Listen, I remember I was over at the house. When I say I'm over at the house, that means I was at my mother's house. I went over you know, my parents' house and then my father passed. I never said that publicly because I was, I didn't, I, I was trying to deal with it. I didn't get around to it. That's the thing about me. People want you to just come out and say what they want you to say, even if you're not ready. That's not how it works with me. Nobody's going to make me come out and say anything until I'm ready to say it. And I think you guys know that by now. All right. Also, another thing I want to address, guys, this is just funny. This is just funniness, right? Another thing I want to address is the part where I don't know who told who what, who told people I was timid and all this other stuff. I don't know where that came from. If you even go back to my reads and listen to when I first started, there are some things that are still profound. I remember like one of my shows when I first started, I said, Scorpio, something, what was it? It was Scorpio. You don't look something. You don't look surprised. You look tired. And because I was new to the air, I don't know. I think if I would have said it right now, it would have come out like it did just now. At the beginning of my show, I'm like, oh my goodness, what should I say? What shouldn't I say? I've also done a lot of praying. When I first started my show, I was like, oh, I'm going to do gossip. And something told me. I remember I tried to do a read and I was like, I was so convicted. I couldn't do it. So I was like, you know what? Let me 
see if I can pose this another way. And when I do my reads, I don't point out people. I do signs. As a matter of fact, to be honest with you, after I decided I wasn't doing celebrities, you guys, if they're celebrities, listen, were never a thought. I never thought about doing a celebrity after that. I really didn't because when I first tried, I was like, wow, I don't like telling all that. I didn't realize I could see that much. So I think based off what I'm seeing now, mind you guys, it's almost like you ever been on a reality show where you can't talk to people for like three months. I've been separated from everybody. So I don't know what's going on on the outside world. I see the news and you guys just see me retweet. You'll see me on uh, my page. I want to just make sure that everybody knows the variety of tarot readers that are out there, spiritualists, that is different. Get to know them versus, you know, oh, you miss Cleo. We don't rock with Miss Cleo. And like I said before, uh, Miss Cleo ain't done nothing no different from what the rest of y'all, with the people on jail, they going to jail on the news, handcuffs with a Bible in their hand and with a robe on. So as soon as the service is over, you got the cops waiting in the back. They can say, you know, Pastor so and so or you know, I don't know, Pope so-and-so, we're going to have to put you in handcuffs. We just want you to preach your last sermon so we can haul you off right quick before the cameras. So these things happen. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that. All right. That was pretty much, I think, all I wanted to say here. But the part where I'm timid, I just think that's funny. It's really funny. So... Again, I don't know what's going on out there, and like I got a gut feeling that I might be a little bit ahead of where folks are. And in some cases, I can't guarantee it because I don't know. This is a we. If this, I don't know what the. I've never seen anything like this in my life. But at the end of this journey, it will be cool to. I mean, I already know who the people are. Like, I was just up here literally reading some cards, trying to gain an understanding of you know what is this. What is the science behind it? And it is very spiritual. There's nothing. Y'all got to stop judging people. Y'all going to end up. You got to stop. You have got to stop doing it. You got to stop doing it. This is why. Well, apparently from what I am here, there's a lot of crap going on out there. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of crap going on. That's what I hear. And some of the stuff, some of the stuff that I do here, I get so, I'm like, I don't even want to know. So some stuff I'll bypass. A lot of things I don't have an opinion on because I'm not educated on it. So I don't know. Whatever. Point is, that's it. This stuff, I don't know when it's happening. I think I meet, might not just me. I want to say all the readers are probably calling up stuff. And to a regular person who's not awake, they're like, oh, that's crap. Oh, I'm going to the club. I'm going to, ah, ah, ah. Y'all going to do that. Ah, ah. It's like, so you out, ah, ah, right? And just like the preacher, when they get through preaching, the cops going to hem them up. As soon as the club is over, once they see you in plain view, when they got all the paperwork lined up, which has been there, people have been burning paperwork. That's been in my reads. People are burning paperwork to get rid of evidence. There is something that comes up with paperwork, falsifying documents, false accusations. And, and that's another reason why I wanted to come up here. I've never done, I've never taken out a PPP loan. All these things have been made public. So... To the people out there being arrogant and, oh, it's never going to happen. You're going to go into your 10th house or have your fourth wedding in the same name. Whatever you feel like you're going to do, I've already warned you, right? You won't touch me. You can do whatever you want to me. Y'all have done enough. And when I look back over my life, I start to see how the pieces go together and what kind of mess this is. So, yes, I bind you, okay? And you will stay away from me because I'm going to make you. I got a team of people praying for me on top of that of a very special connection. And I don't know why I keep telling y'all that. I'm trying to tell you, don't touch me again. All right? Because I feel like whoever touched me in the first place, and I know you, after a while, you know, that ascension thing, which I wasn't even looking at that stuff. I was literally looking at things from the, the white side of it, if you will, right? White light side, you know, like the lights. I was looking at it from that perspective. So I never focused on any of the, oh, let me look at myself. But Lord, when I did, oh, when I saw all that was going on, I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. So you ought to be shaming yourself. And if you come after me again, I don't think it's going to end well for you as in look around. I'm sure it's not ending well for a lot of people around you. So if you don't want that to be you, you know, I would lay off the people that you believe ain't good enough to worship. I'm not sure who you believe you are. But all this judgment, you will be judged before your peers. Everything that you read in the Bible 
not only is it just interpretation, because when I read something, I, I might say, you know what? I imagine this outside. I imagine the walls to be purple. You might say, I imagine the walls to be white in this. It's a completely different, we have different perspectives, different outlooks. The point is you can't judge people. I wouldn't do it no more. I think you see that I ain't playing and I, I just, now I wouldn't touch it. Just leave people alone. That's it. You mind your business and we'll mind ours. But we would like some answers about how I could see these two, right? But the part with the Instagram where, you know, you have these people, you know, celebrities, whoever these people are, rich folks, whatever, going in and grabbing a list, misrepresenting information, touching people's families, recruiting their families into something, knowing that a weakness for them might be, I don't have any money or something. You know what I mean? So just that manipulative and I'm coming for you. Every time you move wrong, I'm going to pick it apart. So yeah, my readings, they come out every night. Well, they did at 1147. But if I feel like I need to go longer with the reads, I will. But I will make sure I expose every piece of whatever it is you feel like you hiding. All right? And if you think that you're going to get into heaven after all of this nonsense, good luck. Your prayers, they'll come out your mouth, but they won't make it up. Halfway out your mouth shall they fall. So if I were you, I wouldn't play. So I'm going to leave it there. And you too, please, I'd like for you to help me out. I sent you something again last night. Very, very lengthy. It was nice. But it was straight to the point. So if you guys could kindly help assist out. I love you guys. And guys, please keep sharing your stories. Please stop judging like, oh, you shouldn't be doing yoga. Yoga's the devil. Oh, I could say you getting a, a, a arrested in your robe. With your Bible in your hand is, I don't believe in that either. So how, how are we going to do this? You either, you have to balance something out, all right? I don't make, I don't understand why there are some folks, and I want to be very clear, this is not for everybody. I just need to be clear about how you think that walking across the news station with a Bible in cuffs, what makes you think you're better than somebody pulling a card? At the end of the day, are there differences in sin? Absolutely. Are there some that are considered more about absolutely but sin is sin you hopping in the bed with somebody's husband you pulling up a tarot card and saying presto listen i don't know who these folks think they are but you will stop and leave these folks alone and if you don't we ain't gonna stop anyway we're gonna rip you to smithereens and we don't have to leave our homes we can sit right here at our desk and the reason why you don't want us meditating is because we start I, me i understand what it's about i understand more about my own personal story but I feel like everybody had to teach me that. This is something that has been talked about. I'll get into that when we talk about the, when I get into the Leo read. I'll talk about that. But I want this message to go out there. This is my personal opinion. Uh, YouTube, I'd like to know how YouTube came together with a nine to five job. Please explain that. YouTube, who on the inside had something to do with it? Which one of your account liaisons or account managers partnered up with somebody who clearly had clout, money, um, position, title. They had something to make this happen. Who is it? See, I believe in confessions. Confessions are made through settlements, yes. But a settlement still states that there was some involvement, right? Right. I'm just saying. So please. I mean, I know my little 500 ain't a lot, right? But when you've been paying it for three years... And you got people coming up against you from the inside of the place that you advertise. Please tell me how that works. Reporters, please probe. Any reporters I can find to get all over YouTube and get me some answers, please help me. Please. And I want to thank you guys again. I love you so much. Thank you so much for 30 minutes. Oh, 24 minutes of me fussing. What? Anyway, I hope to see you guys online. I love you. I love you. I love you. And again, I'll be leaving comments, you know, with the funny titles and stuff. That's just what I do. And there's this thing, oh, that's all you do. I don't care what you say. You can do that from anywhere, the car, the beach, anywhere you can tweet something. Not that, whatever. Anyway, I love you guys. Bye.